If an experiment has an alias, then the two factor effects are called as mixtures, blocked, confounded or clusters. What is the correct answer? So what do we mean by alias? If you have done design of experiments, you would know that the term alias structure or alias comes in design of experiments. What do we mean by alias? When the estimate of an effect also includes the influence of one or more effects, usually higher order interactions, then the effects are said to be aliased or in simple words mixed up. So this can happen in the case of fractional factorial experiments where we try to reduce the number of runs that we want to do in an experiment and in this process of trying to squeeze the number of runs we end up mixing up factors. For example, a main factor A, the main effect of a factor A could be aliased with a three-way interaction such as B, C, D. So the combined effect of B, C, D could be mixed up with that of A. So this mix up or aliasing it's in statistics we call that as confounding. So you could say that BCD is confounded with factor A. So clearly the answer to this question is confounding. There are three more terms here why don't we learn those terms too. Mixtures and clusters. These two terms are in no way related to design of experiments and they are related to the topic of run charts. So you can directly exclude them. The other term blocked or in other words blocking is a concept in experimentation. So what is blocking? Blocking is nothing but it is the, uh, the practice of arranging the experimental units in blocks or in other words groups that are similar to one another. So typically a blocking factor could be maybe a factor which is not of direct interest to us but it is likely to influence or likely to be a source of variation in our study. For example it could be ambient temperature or it could be weather or it could be even location. The concept of blocking actually came from farming where when we are trying to blow a particular seed across a huge area then depending on the soil variation between various blocks, the growth of the plant can be very different. Now you cannot control this soil fluctuation or variation. So what they used to do is to, they used to create blocks of plants and plow the same seed everywhere. So they would know that if a particular area has a higher growth, then that is probably due to the soil there. So this is where the concept of blocking started. So with that, the answer for this question I think is very clear, it is C, confounding.